Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the purchasing power parity theory, right? This theory is very much important in foreign exchange theory, right? And I'm going to explain you in a very simple way about it. Let us see about the purchasing power parity theory. What is purchasing power parity theory? Let us try to understand the concept with a simple example. Suppose you are purchasing an apple which cost $1 in USA and the same apple cost you be 50 in India, then we can say that dollar one is equal to rupees 50. So here we are comparing the purchasing power of both the currency that shows us dollar one is equal to rupees 50. In purchasing power parity theory, inflation rate play very important role. Inflation rate changes the rate of exchange between the domestic currency and foreign currency. Now, suppose in our example, right, the inflation rate in India is suppose 5% and the same inflation rate for USA is suppose 3%. Let us try to find out the effect of this inflation rate, the purchasing power on the exchange rate. I am sure that you would understand that as the inflation rate is 3% per annum in USA, the rate of the apple after one year from today in USA will become $1.03 and the same rate as the inflation rate in India is 5% per annum, the rate of Apple will be 52.5 in India, right? Now, the question arises that what will be the new exchange rate after one year from today, right? In the market because of the mechanism of inflation rate or say the purchasing power parity and for that sake, we just have to do like this 52.50 divided by 1.03 and this will give us the approximate answer of 50.97. So we can very simply say that as the purchasing power parity has given its effect, has shown its effect, right? The new rate of the new rate of exchange has arrived and the rate of exchange after one year because of purchasing power parity can be said as dollar one is equal to rupees 50.97. So this is how the purchasing power parity is applied. You know, the same phenomena has been explained by many books by giving, you know, a very harsh kind of, you know, a scary kind of formula. But I don't think that this kind of formulas are required to understand the concept. I'm sure that in this small presentation, you are able to understand about the concept of purchasing power parity. Thanks for watching.